So, ladies and gentlemen, after discussing about Saturn transit, retrograde, stationary, and everything else, we are here with the most important video to actually understand how does a transit of Saturn work. Now, you may think, oh, does this mean, you know, every other planet works differently? Well, actually, yes, every planet transits a particular house, but the results come in different ways. Because if it would have not been the case, uh, there would be only one planet, right? There would not be nine planets. So therefore, there are certain traits which every transit will have in common. But to say that, oh, you know, it's this transit, any, every planet is transiting this house, so this will happen, that will happen. No, not necessarily. Okay, so therefore, today that's exactly what we're going to study in context of Saturn because now, as you know, 15th, which is yesterday, Saturn <coughs> went direct in the sign of Aquarius. And so many of you have commented there, you know, that so many things you have been doing from last four years, 10 years, somebody has written like so many years, okay. And now you are changing things again, okay. So therefore, this is what it happens. And remember, even now, as I'm recording this video on 16th November, Saturn is still not... Uh, I mean, Saturn's retrogression is over, Saturn is now direct, but it is still stationary. So, this situation is called stationary direct, where you are now making the right decisions in the right directions, okay? So, therefore, if you are in crossroads and you are about to make a particular decision, then you should watch the videos that I put out yes, two, two, two days back and also the ones on Saturn before, okay? But if I assume you have already watched them and now you are wondering what will happen in your life, this this is then the right video for you. Now, what is Saturn? Saturn is a planet that shows all difficulties in life. That's it. It's short. Saturn rules all the problematic areas. Why do I say this? Because he's the Karaka for the Dustana houses, the 6th house, 8th house and the 12th house. And he is the exclusive Karak for the 8th and the 12th, okay? And he is uh, the, he he's also Karaka for the 6th, but for 6th, there's another Karaka, which is Mangal, okay? So, even if you ignore Mangal, Saturn is still the Karak for all the three Dustana houses. And 6th house, as you know, is, you know, difficulties, you know, delays, uh, opposition, objection, and all this. Sixth house basically shows friction in life, okay? It's like the smooth the smoothness is not there. So if there's a planet in the sixth house, it will give you a similar flavor like that of Saturn, which means the things related to that planet will not be very smooth. Now, eighth house is worse than the sixth house. Eighth house, as I call, is the graveyard. Why? Because eighth house has the power to uh, not just give you friction. Eighth, eighth house has the power to take that thing completely away from you. Okay, so therefore, uh, whenever they say Saturn delays but not, never denies, well, it could be both. Saturn could delay or it could deny you out, outright, okay. So therefore, then we have the 12th house. 12th house is like complete denial of something. So, 6th house means there is friction. 8th house means you get and it's taken away from you. 12th house means you never get it because it's not there in your destiny. So if you have a plant in your 12th, you may f you may get a similar flavor like Saturn, which is like you try, try, try and try, but you never get it. Therefore, if you need to understand what Saturn is, you need to understand the Dustana houses. And I have videos on 6th house, 8th house, 12th house. I have a lot of videos on these three houses. Please go and watch them. Now, you may be wondering why should I watch the Dustan houses? Because whenever there is a transit of Saturn, whenever, where, and wherever actually, <laughs> then those traits of the Dustana houses will come combined to that particular house for those two and a half to three years. Which means there will be sixth house, there will be delays, there will be you know, disappointment, there will be setbacks, you know. There will be reversal, there will be friction, and then there's eighth house, you know, it it may be completely taken away from you, you may get humiliated, there may be defamation, uh, there may be scandals and whatnot, right? There could be addictions, depression, and twelfth house. 
which means you are running, running, running. It's like running in the treadmill. You are in the same place. <laughs> you never get it. Okay. That's what uh, a Saturn transit can do. Now, what does it mean when you say Saturn transits in a particular house? It means as per your ascendant, your lagna, your rising sign. Okay. So, for example, if you are Aries ascendant, Aries lagna, not Aries moon, okay, not Aries sun sign, Aries lagna ascendant, then 29th March 2025, as you know, Saturn will transit the sign of Pisces. So, that means if you are Aries, your 12th house will have the transit of Saturn. So, Saturn will transit in your 12th house from the ascendant and that means the 12th house will experience uh, the flavor of the Dustanas, okay? The traits related to the 12th house, which is kind of counterintuitive because 12th house itself is a Dustana house, but nonetheless. So, this is something you have to understand, that wherever Saturn transits from your ascendant, all the traits of the Dustanas will get activated. Now, you may think, well, well uh, that will happen for every ascendant, right? Which means <coughs> for every Aries ascendant, when Saturn enters Pisces next year, they will have uh, not the best flavors related to the 12th house. But how is it different for you uh, as an Aries ascendant and your uh, neighbor as another Aries ascendant? Well, that is where the dashas will come. Okay, so what are dashas? Dashas are like time periods which... Uh, are there in Vedic astrology. So, depending on which dasha you are there, so dasha is like, you know, a particular planet is deciding everything in your life. Everything that happens in your life is related to that planet. So, therefore, if you have a dasha of a planet which is itself in a dustana house and then Saturn is also transiting in another dustana house, then you know that the trouble is going to be really serious. Otherwise, the trouble is not very serious. So, for example, suppose you are Aries Ascendant and let's say, you know, you have uh, Venus Mahadasha going on and your Venus is in Capricorn. Now, for Aries Ascendant, Capricorn is the 10th house. Okay, so maybe your Venus is in uh, Aquarius or it's in Capricorn. Okay, either way, it's 10th or the 11th. And your Venus Mahadasha is going on. So now, this transit of Saturn in your 12th house for Aries Ascendant can get you opportunities in foreign lands. But it will be related to career profession because the 10th house shows your name, fame, power, position, status, authority, administration, management. So that means if the Dasha is indicating that you will uh, go, uh, you will get name, fame, power, position in your life that in general happens through career. <coughs> then now the transit of Saturn in the 12th will activate the some Dustana houses traits in the 12th house, which is, you know, foreign lands. Now, this could mean when you go to uh, your foreign country, then you may have difficulties getting a visa there. Or uh, before you go, and then after you land up going there, you might get uh, face difficulties in getting a resident permit. If you are already in a developed country and you have a resident permit, you might get uh, you might face difficulties in getting a permanent residency there. Or if you already have a PR, then it might be difficult for you to get a citizenship there. Okay, so and there also, you know, once you go. Uh, there will be some problem with your colleagues or, you know, with your, uh, yeah, with your uh, <coughs> college mates or somebody uh, related to your uh, university or office or whoever that person is, okay. So, therefore, now you know that because the Dasha is indicating there will be, uh, there will be achievements in my career. So, eventually the achievements will be there, but there will be some problems uh, if I am in a developed country or developing country or an underdeveloped country. So, I I irrespective of that, uh, if you are in a foreign country, foreign to your origin, then there is trouble because Saturn is transiting in your 12th house, right? Now, this will also be applicable uh, in India if you are in a different state. So, suppose you are from <coughs> West Bengal and you are doing your whatever, you are Aries Ascendant and you are doing your bachelor's or master's, you know, in Mumbai then also this will be applicable. You will face problems there, okay? But will this transit of Saturn in the 12th cause troubles in your profession? Well, not necessarily because 
your dasha is indicating that you are uh, you you are protected okay now suppose you have venus in the 10th house as a aries ascendant in capricorn and suppose you know your jupiter is in virgo and your venus mahadasha is going on and your jupiter antar dasha is starting so then what happens now when your venus jupiter starts because jupiter is also in another lusthana right in your birth chart if you assume like that then now there is some considerable trouble because now what is happening is your dasha is already indicating that there is some trouble which is a dustana house which is the sixth house and then <clears throat> in transit you have another malefic like saturn prominent malefic or primary malefic or maybe the only malefic <laughs> in your 12th house okay so therefore now you know that these difficulties that i am having in a foreign land is not just difficulties these are difficulties which may end up impacting my profession to some extent okay this is how you know because see you will have difficulties in any in any area of life but will they end up impacting you in some area of life that is something you need to check from the dashas okay so now because your antar dasha is indicating trouble therefore now this transit of saturn will give you some uh, serious considerable trouble it, it will be like you know oh suppose you are in uh, suppose you are an indian and you are uh, in a foreign country you know like the us or europe uh, for example and then you have you are aries ascendant with venus in 10th and jupiter in 6th so venus mahadasha so jupiter antar dasha what happens is because now saturn is also transiting in 12th so there will be a situation where you will have problems with your visa extension and all this and because of that your job might get terminated okay so uh, for a temporary period of time and then of course uh, after jupiter antar dasha ends your saturn antar dasha will start right uh, venus jupiter ends then venus saturn will begin so depending on where saturn is that is how you will know how it happens okay and always remember that during this calculation you also have to figure out the houses that saturn is ruling in your chart so now for aries ascendant saturn is lord in your 10th house and 11th house okay so therefore by default some issues related to career finance and uh, your long term savings your net worth some issues will have the flavor of the 12th house so this means <laughs> you might so now this is very interesting so for aries because saturn is transiting uh, will transit in your 12th house after uh, 29 march this could give different flavors like for example 12th house is the house of loss right so it could be that you lose your job for some reason or it could be that you are spending money and buying goods and you know then making them manufacturing them and selling them somewhere else or you are going to a foreign land and doing business it could mean either way so either it's a job loss or an expenditure for business growth expansion or job or business in a foreign land it could mean one or any of the three <clears throat> but now suppose your mahadasha and antar dasha is indicating that you will have job loss then this is loss of job or if your mahadasha is indicating you will uh, take a loan and start new business you will expand you will do manufacturing then this uh, 10th lord 11th lord in sat uh, in the 12th will give you, you know, some reasonable expenditure but it's still like you know there will be a loan business loan or personal loan whatever or loan from your family members right and if your dashas are indicating the 3rd 9th and the 12th or you know either the 3rd 12th 9th 12th or uh, yeah maybe all the three houses third nine then 12 then you may go to a foreign land to because you got a new job or you want to start your own business or you may get clients from foreign lands okay mm -hmm. so uh, that is how you will know which flavor of the lordships which flavor so now lordships in case of aries is 10th and 11 so it's primarily profession so now you know which aspect of profession will be affected okay and i'll maybe you may be wondering oh well then uh, 
do we do the same thing for Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Venus? Well, not exactly because Jupiter is not the lord of Dustana house. He is not the karaka for the Dustana houses, right? Jupiter is opposite. He is the karaka for the second house, fifth house, ninth house. And for females, he is also the karaka for the seventh house. You know, then he is also the karaka for the eleventh house for both the genders. So therefore, uh, Jupiter's transit will bring uh, auspiciousness, uh, but optimism in general. Now, will the results come or not? That will depend on the dashas, okay? So therefore, do not read every transit the same way. Whenever Venus is transiting a particular house, the results will be completely different compared to when Saturn is transiting a particular house, all right? So I hope this gave you a good insight of how to actually read the transit of Saturn in a particular house and how to know will you be successful in that area or you will, uh, you will fail in that area or will you have late success or will that be taken away from you completely, all right? So basically, first horoscope, then your dashas and then transits, okay? And especially if within transits, it is the transit of Saturn, you need to watch the dashas and look out for uh, planets related to Dustana houses. Okay, so for example, as I said, for Aries Ascend, and if your Venus is in Capricorn and you have Jupiter in the sixth, then Venus, Jupiter, Antar, Dasha can give you troubles if Saturn is also transiting in the 12th house. And how that trouble can come, which area that trouble could be, that is all that we have already discussed, right, in this video elaborately. So, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and for personalized horoscope consultations in regards to your career, promotion, wealth, relationships, love life, <laughs> you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure. Please take care. Jai Siaram.